Right guys, I'm back with a ton of iPhone 14 tidbits, and so let's delve into it. So it's fair to say there's been a ton of confusion regarding the colors coming to the 14 series, and that confusion continues with this new report from iHack2 Pro, who gives us actual shades we could see with the regular iPhone 14 series. So we have a green to begin with, which is pretty similar to the green we have now with the 13 series, then a yellowy orange that personally I'm rooting will not happen because I've been wanting a proper orange to come to the regular iPhones for years. And so this color happening might put an end to that. But anyways, we also have a red. It's a proper rich red like we have now with the 13 series. And also blue that once again is pretty similar to the 13 series. And yeah, that does kind of make me doubtful about this report because obviously with the design being very similar for the regular models, Apple can really only differentiate these with the colors they choose. And so I doubt they're gonna give us similar shades to last year's models. So yeah, to be honest, as much as I do hate it, the yellowy red is pretty likely to come to the 14 series purely because it's not a color we get with the 13 series. Anyways, that's not the only colors. iHack2 Pro also says there's going to be a navy blue and also a salmon color. Now the salmon color makes sense. That much like the yellowy orange is completely different to the super light pink we have now with the 13 series. But the navy kind of makes no sense because I doubt Apple's going to give us two shades of blue with the 14 and 14 Max. And so yes, it's likely going to be this navy color or of course, the light blue instead. And while based on the fact the light blue is very similar to the iPhone 13 blue, I do think the navy is more likely to come to the 14 series. iHack2 also says we're going to see a purple with the 14 series. And that again makes sense since we do widely expect the flagship color for the pros to also be a purple so the regular models matching that yeah that makes sense now i do want to say that earlier there was a report regarding apple reducing the colors with the regular models and this i believe still could be the case because obviously there could be supply constraints with these phones and so reducing the number of configurations is of course going to help apple produce these models faster so yeah definitely do temper your expectations when it comes to the color choices Anyways, let's move on to information regarding demand for the 14 series. There's been a ton of conflicting information regarding this. Initially, there was information regarding Apple increasing shipments due to strong demand, but then Digitimes believed, no, that's not going to be the case. There is uncertainty over the demand. And now Bloomberg chimes in as the more credible source and says that no, Apple's not uncertain about shipments. They instead believe iPhone 14 demand is going to be just as good as the 13 series with 90 million shipments. And yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, do remember right now the smartphone market has kind of seen a decline. And so Apple saying that demand is going to be just as good as it was for the 13 series is quite positive. And to be fair, Apple expecting good demand does make sense because the 14 Pros are going to remove the infamous notch. They're getting the first megapixel increase since the 6S. And also there's going to be other features like an always on display. But also do remember with the regular models, there's going to be a regular max for the first time. So those who want the bigger screen, but of course can't justify getting the Pro Max, now can get this for a lower price. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a pretty popular device. And yes, I know these iPhones are getting more expensive, but do remember there's going to be trading promos and so many are not going to be paying the full price up front. Anyways, Bloomberg's report also says Apple is going to produce 220 million iPhones for the entire year. So yeah, that is quite a lot of iPhones and I really am pretty sure the 14 series is going to have strong demand, especially when earnings for the iPhone were, of course, pretty strong in the previous quarter. Anyways, let's actually delve into these price hikes because we have been expecting the pros to get more expensive due to inflation, but Minshew Quo does finally confirm this and says that yes, the average selling price of an iPhone is going to increase by 15% due to the 14 pros being more expensive. Now this does not mean the 14 Pros are going to go up by 15%, hence resulting in a whopping 1149 price tag. No, this is the average selling price. And to be honest, Apple removing the Mini and of course, 
making the regular four team the new base is also most likely playing a part in this increase. And so personally for the pros, I think the prices at the very most are gonna go up by $100. So $1,100 and $1,200 for the Pro and Pro Max. Now there has been some confusion regarding the storage options for the pros, since some sources like Trendforce and Wedbush believes Apple's gonna double the storage for the price increase, but then we have other sources like Jeff Poo telling us that's not gonna be the case. And to be honest, I'm leaning towards Jeff Poo because Apple as a business wants to make more money off you, so of course, upselling you on storage is a very easy route and 128 is that sweet spot where of course it's just enough for some consumers but most consumers are gonna upgrade their storage and so yes i do believe apple's gonna retain the same storage tiers and yes i'm aware we're seeing 8k prores and so the 128 gig tier is gonna miss out on that but do remember most consumers especially those getting the base pros are not going to be using ProRes. That's a very niche feature and those who want it are going to pay for the one terabyte and even maybe the two terabyte iPhones. And so yeah, this is not a massive issue for Apple. They can of course happily sell you a base storage of 128 gigs. However, I do want to mention there are some reports suggesting the price hikes could be much worse. So we have a Chinese source telling us the 14 Pro could be $1199 and the Pro Max could be a whopping $1299. So that would be a $200 price increase. Now that sounds outrageous, but you've got to remember that inflation is getting out of control and with these devices getting more expensive to make, I guess there is a possibility Apple gives us massive price hikes. However, there is some hope that Apple could of course instead rely on their services and lower the profit margins on the hardware sales, but make that revenue back in the long term through of course, services. Apple's also experimenting with ads within their first party apps, that's not a great move to be honest, I would be against that, but maybe that does help subsidize these new iPhones. So yes, we'll have to wait and see what Apple does with the pricing for these new iPhones. Anyways, that's about it guys, but tell me your thoughts regarding these reports in the comments. Anyways, thank you for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the above on details regarding the M2 iPad Pros, and on that note, see ya peeps.